Hello everyone, welcome back to Technical Tuesday. Today we're going to go ahead and do swatch comparisons to December's Manny Me box from Maniology, which is Foxglove B5100, B500 and Willow B501. So these are some beautiful purple and green colors and I got the closest ones to it that I already own. And I have some honorable mentions to go with Willow. These are non-metallic, non-shimmery greens that are very, very close to Willow in color, but they're creams and not a metallic. So the honorable mentions is Zombie Hut B485 and Ducky B280. So as for the greens that are similar in shades, we have Tutu Melee B412. You see they are very similar. We have Grinchmas B460. Now this is a little bit more green um, and gold. A little bit harsher of a green, but it is similar. And Monstera B343. Um, same theory. Um, it's a little bit harsher of a green, but it is similar. The closest one we, is Tutu Melee by visual looks on the outside of the bottle. So we'll see when we stamp them how close they look. Um, let's see here, get my cotton ball ready. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and swatch out Willow, which I have not done yet. So this is gonna be a first for me as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some swatch sticks. and swatch the lid and the top of these so I don't forget to do so. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the top. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the lid. We're going to do a bigger swatch that's easier to see on the mat here. And I had somebody asking if a fox glove is sheer. So we're going to find out if it's on the more sheer side. This willow does seem kind of on the sheer side though. We'll see. That does show up nicely on white. Let's see how it shows over the black. And in case you guys are wondering what plate I'm using, I'm using uh, Maniology's Kawaii Emoji BM XL325. I've got that over the black. And that's this plate right here. We now have it stamped over the white and the black. I have cleaned my plate. We're going to go ahead and go in with Tutu Melee, which I believe was from two years ago. Yeah. It was two years ago in November. Anime box. It is available for purchase on the site. I put that over the white. And put this over the black. Okay, so put this aside. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go in with Grinchmas. Which is actually a very, very pretty green. Um, any fair one I'm going to use it on. <laughs> I've yet to use it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that one. I'm going to get a nice pickup. Right over the white. I'm going to go ahead and grab another stamp for over the black. And that's nice. 
Okay, so we're going to go in with our final color, which is Monstera. Clean the plate. Oops, sorry, guys. I'm going to be up in the way for a second here, just because of where I have my acetone. And then we're going to go back in over, this is another really pretty green, guys. I'm rather fond of Monstera. And voila. So that is the three closest metallics to um, Willow that I own. Let's see if I can get I'm trying to get lighting that's not really interfering with seeing it here. Okay. So this is what Willow looks like over white and black. And this is what the other three similar to it looking in the bottle. This one here is Tutu Melee, this one is Grinchmas, and this one is Monstera, and Monstera over black is very similar. Um, and that's really the only time any of them are really close, and like I said before, these two colors here inside the bottle also look very close, especially Zombie Hut. Zombie Hut looks like it's literally the cream version of Willow. So that is all of the greens. And this back. And I'll go ahead and clean up. And I don't necessarily need to clean up the mat. We can just stamp it next to it. So this is Fox Glove B500. And we're going to go in and we're going to go ahead and stamp the lid. Okay. So foxglove is kind of sheer, which makes me wonder if it's going to be more like gumdrop. This one right here. Ooh, yeah. On camera they look almost identical. So you guys might already have one that's um, like foxglove. And I think this one is one that they're currently in the process of getting rid of. This particular collection that Gumdrop comes in, I believe, is up on the last chance sale. So, go ahead and put foxglove down on the white. Ooh, that is very sheer looking. But with the shimmer, it might be more of considered a special effect polish. If they're not considering it a special effect, I'm not sure how I'd how to feel about this. I like my polish to be opaque if it's not supposed to be special effect. Okay, yeah, you can barely see that over the black. Okay, so that is Foxglove. You prep the switch sticks. Okay. So the colors that I've picked that are similar to Foxglove out of my drawer is Eggplant, Dearest Aurora, and Gumdrop. And I feel like Gumdrop's going to be the closest looking at them. Dearest Aurora might be very similar as well. Um, 
Now, I know this one says BMC, the dearest Aurora. However, they do still sell it. This was before the rebranding. Um, they used to be called Bundle Monster Corporation, also known as BMC. Uh, and that's when I had gotten that. I'd gotten it a long time ago. So, but they do still sell it as part of the Grimm's Nightfall collection. So we're going to go ahead and go in with Eggplant B492. Plate. Contaminate this swatch. Which I'm actually rather fond of eggplant. That's a very it's a very pretty purple that they have made. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp that on the white, and that is much more opaque than foxglove. Much more opaque. And voila. So there's eggplant next to foxglove. And we're going to go in with dearest Aurora next. Probably going to need a good shake. This one's old and hasn't been used in a while. Now, Dearest Aurora is a specialty, special effect polish. I'm going to just put it is over white. And put it over black. Scrape. And over black which is where the purple really comes out on it, is over black. It's more meant to be over dark colors. Okay, and then fresh cotton ball. Okay, cotton ball. There. Okay, so the final one we have gumdrop, which I do think because of its shade and how sheer it is as well as foxglove being so sheer i think these are going to be the two closest okay so i'm going to put on polish swipe pick up place all right we're going to do this again over the black So here's our purples. Let's get a closer look. So here's the purples, guys. And this is what they look like over black and over white. And foxglove is the first one. This is foxglove, the one we're comparing to. This is eggplant, which is darker and more opaque. Then we have Dearest Aurora, which is a more blue shade of purple, and it also is more opaque than uh, Foxglove. And as I suspected, Gumdrop is the closest, but it's still, it's got a slightly more blue hue um, over black, and it's got an almost pinkish hue over white, but they are still both the closest in to it is eggplant over black it looks like in person and even kind of on camera the closest to it um, over white is uh, gumdrop so I'm also going to go ahead and do the swatch sticks while I'm at it So we want Willow, B 
five zero one and foxglove. I'm going to zoom this back out and clean this up and then I'm going to go ahead and do the swatch sticks for you guys so you can see the um, color when it's by itself, not just over black and white. Okay. My mat is a mess. One more sheet and clean this up. Hey, it was last sheet. Cool. I can get this off my desk and my kid can't have it. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm almost done cleaning up the mats. I apologize if you end up hearing my husband in the background. He is on call this week and may have to leave. So you can hear him in passing. Okay. There we go. All clean. So we're going to go ahead and move this over. Have to leave? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Be careful. Love you. Love you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp over the white and the black with foxglove and wool. Go ahead and stamp over the black. It does not show very well in the black. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and paint the top portion. And due to the fact that this is not a one coater like it normally is, I'm a little disappointed. I do like this color. This is very sheer and given over black, it doesn't show up very well. This is not like what I normally see from any So I don't know how to feel about it. It is different and that's, but it doesn't feel like it's supposed to be a special effect when looking at it. So I don't know how to feel about it. But we'll go ahead and put a second coat on that here in a moment. Let's go ahead and do Willow. And I'm gonna put the rest of these away real quick. Clean up plates. Go in with willow. Uh, 
That's very nice. I do like that a lot. That is very nice. Though I will admit, even Willow seems a little bit more sheer than their polishes in the past half, which I'm not sure why this time around. But it doesn't seem to affect Willow's ability to show up over dark or light colors well, despite being sheer. Um, let's see if it shows any problems with being a regular polish for colors. And set this light up. Okay, so let's cap off the stamper. over the swatch stick at the top. Okay, so in one coat, this is more opaque than foxglove, but it's still more sheer than what I would normally see out of a Maniology stamping polish. Um, so it's probably one that you would want two coats on. For sure you want at least two coats with foxglove probably three um, for full opacity just by looking at it, which like I said is really weird for them I don't know what they were thinking on that one but it, it is a very pretty color don't don't get me wrong I just I'm not sure how to feel about this particular one okay two coats definitely seems to to do the trick it seems to be the magic three coats if you really want but like two coats definitely makes a big difference um, I wouldn't call this a jelly polish it's not quite sheer enough for a jelly um, so I wouldn't recommend it for a pond manny I think it's too pigmented for that but it's definitely pretty um, not recommended over a dark color I would definitely say if you're going to use this color, use it over a light color or stamp in white first um, and then stamp over it again, double stamping. Um, if you're using it as a base color, you can need at least two coats. It's definitely very sheer. If you want opacity, at least two coats. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go in with Willow a second time. Which I think Willow, you could get away with one coat. Barely, but can be done. If you hear my children, I apologize. They are fighting going to bed. We just got back from Cub Scouts not that long ago, and they're amped up and excited, and the youngest birthday is this week, and so it's just they're excited and two coats most definitely makes it fully opaque on willow so that is ooh, i just dipped my finger into this watch congratulations mary i need to fix that or it's gonna drive you crazy wait to go <laughs> that is foxglove which I keep messing up my swatch stick on oh my goodness and my kids are going completely ballistic they're not going to be happy when they find out they're grounded we're not going to bed nicely <laughs> they're going to be mad but that one's foxglove. Like I said, did not show up over black very well. Now, I am very happy with Willow. Willow showed up very nicely over both. Um, I'm, I, I mean, I'm a little disappointed on foxglove. I expected a little bit better from them on that purple, but it is very pretty. Um, 
but it definitely does not show up over the dark color very well. And to be honest, stamping wise, it's not showing the greatest over the light color either. It's kind of upsetting that it's not more opaque, but it is pretty. It definitely would make an amazing base color and in the right situations would make a good stamp. But I feel like I have less use for it than I would um, most stamp more opaque stamping polishes. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I do like it. It's pretty. I love the, the shade. Just wish it was a little more opaque. So that is all for today. I hope to see you guys on Thursday's video. Sorry, my brain's trying to go through a million things at once. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. So... I hope you guys are having a good evening, uh, morning, afternoon, night, whatever it may be when you're watching this. If you want to help support this channel, if you like my videos, please subscribe or like or both. The biggest help though is when you place orders on Maniology to use my code, give yourself a 10% discount on your purchase and I get a small kickback in return that helps me purchase things like the swatch sticks and um, new releases as they come out to make these videos for you guys. So I appreciate all of you that have used my code. Thank you. I appreciate all of you that have liked and subscribed to my videos. If you have a request, leave a comment down below or leave me a message on Instagram or Facebook. I will leave my Instagram information as well as my discount code in the um, descriptions below. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.